building a new life from the ashes of a natural disaster. One farm family moved halfway across the country to start again. WEAU's Maria Blau shares how they've put down roots in western Wisconsin. I would describe it as being sweet yet spicy. Champagne apples are only grown by one family in the world, and they call a farm in Kadat home. Though the apple tree roots are now in Wisconsin, they started halfway across the country. It was a wild tree growing in, in the canyon in New Mexico, and he tried that. He tried others too, because there were different wild, but this is the one he went with. Becky Mullane is one of the owners of Dixon's Apple Orchard. Her grandfather, Fred Dixon, first developed the champagne apple in the early 1940s on his ranch in New Mexico. It quickly grew in popularity as a variety of apple good for anything from eating to baking. When you thought of fall in New Mexico, it was the balloon fiesta, green chili, and Dixon's apples. That's what everybody knew in New Mexico. Their roots ran deep in the southwest until disaster struck. We lost our ranch to a forest fire in 2011. So when that happened, it was, it was a huge fire. It was called a lost conscious forest fire, and it took our whole mountain. And so it was such a hot fire that it, singed, it just, everything was gone. And so after that, the flooding started, and we weren't able to keep farming there in that valley. Like her grandparents did more than 60 years earlier, the Mullane family had to start their orchard from scratch. Part of starting over meant moving more than a thousand miles north to a place with plenty of water, western Wisconsin. It was scary. I mean, we moved up here not knowing a soul and um, you know, we just got connected with the right people. Jim Mullane says he's thankful for all the people who helped a family of Wisconsin transplants make a new home. People gave us a chance and it's all kind of helped and to get us where we are today. Moving came with its own challenges. They had to adapt their future champagne trees for a new climate. We were able to save it, bring it, get it to a rootstock that will survive these temperatures in the winter. <laughs> That's kind of tricky. Once they were able to plant their trees, it became a waiting game. The Malanes say it takes about five to eight years for apple trees to start producing harvest-ready fruit. As they waited for the apples, the Malanes got into the wedding business. The weddings we were able to do immediately to start having an income and that was so important because we didn't have income from the trees until now so um, the weddings have really been um, an important part of our business very important as their champagne trees started to ripen they needed a place to sell their apples that started them on a new adventure owning a winery. At Dixon's Autumn Harvest Winery, they carry on the tradition of its previous local owners with wines made from other apple varieties like Honeycrisp. One day, they hope to make a wine from champagne apples. Another future plan? Our goal is to make cider, and we want to be able to have a facility to, to process the fruit. Um, and yeah, we just want to be able to supply apples to as many people as we can. As they continue pushing their business to the future, they never forget their roots. I think of it so much, especially this time of year when we're picking the apples. Um, he would be so proud of us. He didn't, he wasn't around, my granddad wasn't around with the forest fire, so I'm so thankful for that because he built that place from the ground up, um, and now we've built a place from the ground up. In Kadot, Maria Blau, WEAU 13 News. With thousands of trees growing different apple varieties, the Mullane family has plans to plant a thousand champagne trees next year. This fall, they're hosting a haunted corn maze for the first time at their winery.